Hyperion is the mysterious moon of Saturn. Located in the outer reaches of our solar system, people have been wondering why it is shaped like it is and whether there is life on Hyperion for centuries, but no one knows for sure. Do you? It is a great mystery that continues to fascinate scientists, adventurers, and daydreamers like you. In the past few years, more knowledge has been discovered about this mysterious moon. A spacecraft named Cassini was sent to explore Saturn and its moons and reached Hyperion in the year 2004. Astronomers have been studying photographs taken by Cassini and have made some interesting observations. They have noticed that Hyperion has a strange hexagonal shape and is covered in craters. Additionally, they have observed that there is a very icy surface on Hyperion, making it look like a snow globe from far away. What secrets are hidden away on this distant object? Come explore Hyperion and discover its mysteries with us. What if I told you that 2023 could be your year? You could achieve your dream job, start your own business, or do anything else you want. You must be thinking, I'm crazy, but I'm not. Blinkist is an app that has over 5,500 non-fiction books and podcasts that you can indulge in to add value to your day-to-day -day life or bring your dream one step closer to reality. But what makes Blinkist unique is that you can browse through such a knowledge jungle and find what you need in under 15 minutes. My 2023 is full of a long list of goals, which can seem insane. But thanks to Blinkist, I found a book called Goals, which teaches the fundamentals required to get everything you want faster in just 13 minutes. Now I'm globally optimistic that I'm going to hit a check mark on each of my goals for this year, and you can do that too. Let Blinkist be your guide to being the best version of yourself. And if you are someone who prefers to move along with the pack, Blinkist has introduced a new feature called Blinkist Connect which allows you to share your Blinkist premium plan with one or more person for completely free. It's like having two accounts at the price of one. And the best part of it is that you get to keep your separate accounts. So why wait on achieving your 2023 goals? Get 25% off Blinkist premium and enjoy two memberships for the price of one. Start your seven day free trial by clicking the link in the description box. Hyperion has a comparatively small radius of 135 kilometers, making it one twelfth the size of Earth's moon and one four hundredth of Saturn. It orbits around Saturn at a distance of 1,500,000 kilometers and takes 21 days to complete an orbital period. Hyperion has many deep craters that give it a spongy outward appearance. The biggest crater on Hyperion has a diameter of 121.57 kilometers and is over 9.6 kilometers deep. On average, its surface temperature is minus 180 degrees Celsius. Hyperion, whose shape resembles that of a potato, is the biggest known irregularly shaped moon in the solar system, with dimensions of 410 by 260 by 220 kilometers. It is possible that it used to be a larger, more spherical satellite, which was hit by a major collision in its early history. As a result of this impact, nearby pieces of rocks and dust clumped together and formed Hyperion. The complex dance of Saturn's 62 moons is a mesmerizing illustration of the beauty of the laws that govern our universe. This complex conglomeration of gravitational resonances hurls the moons around their planet, shaping Saturn's rings and heating some of them possibly to the point of sustaining life beneath their surfaces. One of the standouts is Hyperion, or Saturn 7, which takes center stage among the moons. How did Hyperion get discovered? The unusual lunar body was initially found in 1848 by three separate teams of astronomers, William and George Bond, as well as William Lassell. The two Bonds made their observation just two days prior to Lassell's. All who contributed to its discovery were acknowledged. John Herschel, the renowned English polymath and astronomer, proposed a creative idea of naming the moons of Saturn after the siblings of Kronos, the Greek counterpart of the Roman god Saturn, from mythology. The name Hyperion 
is inspired by Greek mythology and comes from the name of the god Hyperion. He was the offspring of Uranus and Gaia and the brother of Kronos. He was the husband of Thea and the father of Helios, Sun, Eos, Dawn, and Selene, Moon. Shape of Hyperion Astronomers hypothesize that Hyperion, which has a weird-looking shape unlike the other spherical moons, is likely a remnant of a larger moon that was hit by a massive object. This impact caused the dust from the collision to be drawn together through gravity, resulting in the formation of Hyperion. We know moons that are usually spherical, so why is Hyperion so weirdly shaped, almost like a potato? The irregular shape of Hyperion, the largest known non-spherical moon in the solar system, is likely due to the combination of smaller rock fragments that lack the mass to form into a sphere with enough gravitational pull for a single structure. Instead, the collection of individual rocks created an irregular shape. Due to its irregular shape, this object can rotate around three axes with an unpredictable and ever-altering motion. It is impossible to predict the path of the object rotation or the exact moment when it will pause or change direction. The irregular shape creates a sort of chaotic motion that is captivating and mesmerizing to watch. It is almost like watching a kaleidoscope or a top, with the object gracefully dancing and twirling in unpredictable motions. Hyperion's orbit around Saturn is non-circular, meaning it is elliptical and highly influenced by Titan, the planet's largest moon. The gravitational pull between them causes the two to speed up and slow down based on the changing distance between them. As it is far from Saturn and in close resonance with Titan, Hyperion does not remain facing the planet, instead rotating roughly over 13 days in its 21-day orbit. If Hyperion looks so much like a sponge, does that mean it is spongy? Despite having the same texture as your shower sponge Lufa, Hyperion is not a sponge. It's less dense than water, being only slightly over half as dense. It is said that frozen methane or carbon dioxide could be the cause of its porous look. The majority of it is made up of large amounts of water ice and a slight amount of solid rock, although the exact composition is still unknown. Hyperion's surface is heavily cratered, giving it a sponge-like appearance due to the deep indentations left by impacts on its icy surface. These craters lack the molten material seen on other moons such as Phoebe and Niapetus. As Hyperion is located far from Saturn, it is exposed to a greater probability of collision with space debris. If you happen to go on a space vacation in the near future, I advise bringing your own loofah instead of relying on the Hyperion sponge. Under the surface of Hyperion Now that we know what the surface of Hyperion is like, Let's dig deeper and find out what's going on under it. When the Cassini spacecraft flew close to Hyperion in September of 2005, it revealed astonishing discoveries. Carbon dioxide, water ice, and dark material with a spectral profile akin to hydrocarbons were all detected. Scientists were amazed to discover that the same combination of carbon and hydrogen atoms found in meteorites, comets, and space dust in our galaxy were also present on the moon's surface. These molecules, when frozen in ice and exposed to ultraviolet radiation from the sun, can undergo reactions to form new molecules of great biological importance. The presence of carbon compounds in Hyperion, as well as the fact that the moon is much darker than most moons in our solar system, has made Hyperion an intriguing target for astrobiological investigations. Scientists are now looking into the possibility that conditions on the surface of Hyperion could be conducive to the formation of simple organic molecules, conditions that are vital to the development of life. If organic molecules were indeed found on Hyperion, this would provide further evidence for the possibility of life existing in our solar system and beyond. Life on Hyperion This poses the usual big question. Does life exist on Hyperion? At the moment, it is unrealistic to assert that Hyperion is habitable for organisms solely based on the fact that basic chemistry is present as indicated by the presence of biomolecules. Although this possibility cannot be denied, further evidence is needed to make a conclusive determination. Various factors must be taken into account in further research of Hyperion's potential habitability. For example, the presence of an atmosphere and other necessary conditions 
such as the right temperature and pressure range, must be considered. In addition, the availability of resources such as water and energy should also be investigated. Additionally, the potential impact of the radiation environment of the Moon must be accounted for in order to determine if this environment is too harsh for life to exist in any form on Hyperion. Once these factors have been investigated and assessed, further research can be conducted to determine if Hyperion could support a form of life that is adapted to the environmental conditions present. By studying biomarkers, researchers may be able to determine whether any form of life is present or has ever been present on Hyperion. If the prerequisites for sustaining life are found and the biomarkers are positive, it would be possible to make a definitive statement about the habitability of Hyperion. Although the lack of oxygen rules out the possibility of life forms that need it to breathe, the universe is vast and anything could be possible. Exploring beyond Earth has revealed that there are many unique and strange planets, moons, and other celestial bodies scattered throughout the universe. Some of them may even contain environments that are capable of sustaining non-oxygen dependent life forms, such as extremophiles, who can live in extreme temperatures and lack of oxygen. The sheer size and age of our universe means that it is impossible to know what forms of life may exist in the depths of space. Who knows? Perhaps even now there are alien civilizations living on faraway planets just waiting to be discovered. For now, the questions remain unanswered and more exploration is needed to reveal the true mystery of Hyperion. What we do know is that the icy moon is incredibly unique, with its irregular shape and spongy cratered surface. And through further research, we can gain a better understanding of the laws that govern our universe and explore the possibilities of life existing on other moons. Until then, Hyperion will remain a captivating mystery, beckoning us to unravel its secrets and discover what may lie beneath. So what are you waiting for? Set course for Hyperion and explore the mysteries of this distant planet. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know what you think. See you soon. Guys, remember, if you want to be a better version of yourself, go and check Blinkist out. I truly recommend it.